Hi, welcome. I'm Trevor Emden, Internet Marketer, and in this video I'm going to show you, talk to you about email subject lines that get more opens. Now, this is something that I found vital in my work online. I'm a business coach, amongst other things, and it's really, really important when I send out an email, my list, or as many of them as possible, open it, because obviously it's, <laughs> that's the only way I can communicate with them. And we all know that it's getting harder and harder to get people's attention uh, from emails because we're bombarded with them. But at the same time, it's really important that we do know how to, to, to trigger them to kind of go, oh, I want to read that one. Now, one of the things that obviously helps is if you have a relationship with that list, but you've got to start somewhere. So I've made a few bullet points here, but I want to try and elaborate on them. And if you stick around till the end, I will actually show you a whole bunch more strategies, uh, at least four, it might be five, I think it's four more strategies uh, that are will explode your your email responses. But um, stick with me for that, uh, I'll, and I'll, I'll make it really, really easy for you. So, hidden emotion. Now, when we, we, human beings, never mind marketers, never mind, when just us, all of us, we respond to the same things, okay? And we respond emotionally to something first, right? So the fashion industry knows this, for example. The motor car industry knows this. You know, when, when they design a new car or fashion designers work on a new outfit or dress or whatever it is, they want the consumer or the, who aren't yet buyers, remember, to have to to have a ooh or a wow reaction something and i like that ooh or wow because they're not really words they're just noises and when we go oh cool wow or good gracious me or whatever that's kind of words but some explosion like that from inside us it's because that's hit an emotional nerve and we have no words to express it so we just make a sound wow right now it it could be the the other way as well. It could be like a dull emotion, a silly me. But you've got to be careful, obviously, how you word that because you don't want to make people feel stupid. But you can talk about yourself, and I've done that quite a few times. Be like, oh, look what I missed, right? So the other thing about a subject line is got to be really concise because you've only got a few characters. Remember, some people are scrolling through their mobile phones as well, and so you've got to make it really, really. Like, oh, what's that? It's got to jump out. So an emotional trigger, something that's like, oh, I want that, or I want to know more than that, so about that. So arouse curiosity or desire I've put here. Now, the other thing is, to hit an emotion, you've got to realize that we, like all living creatures, all conscious, sentient living creatures, anyway, as far as I know, are motivated by two forces. We're motivated to move towards pleasure and away from pain, right? Now, towards pleasure, easy to see. Want a free ice cream? Want a holiday in the sun? Um, we go, oh, yeah, okay, you know, and if it's a bargain, then we obviously, we look at the, then we look at the logic, okay? But the immediate reaction is, yeah, I want that. The other emotion is to move away from pain, and that includes fear, fear of missing out, fear of loss, fear of unhappiness, fear of loneliness, fear of getting sick, all that kind of stuff. So in other words, we will not only move away from pain now, like if you put your hand on something hot, you go, ow, and immediately move away from it, but you will move away from, or we will all move away from anticipated pain, fearful fear, which is usually 99.9% nine, .9 of the time when we're afraid of something, it hasn't happened yet, but it might do. So we, we, we avoid it. What's the worst case scenario? We think like that. Right, And I've often taught in my workshops, why don't we ever ask ourselves, what if it all goes right? <laughs> because people don't do that. Right? It is a good question, but our natural inclination is to go for what if it all goes wrong, so that we can try and uh, dodge all the fears. Okay, So if your subject line, your headline, which is the thing that you've got to get clicked in order for anything to happen between you, whether it's going to be a business deal or they, you want them to come to an event you're, you're putting on or you want them to just know about a blog post or something, 
you've got to get them to open that email. That's your absolute first deal. So moving away from pain, it's like how to avoid something, how to avoid your business collapsing, how to avoid your relationship breaking down, how to how to stop your teenagers being tempted by drugs. It, you know, if I mean that would be some email, I guess. But um but you see what I mean? It's like things people are afraid of, they're 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 gonna read that. And if you look at um look at look at those issues. Now I'm gonna show you a tip here. You can see I, I've I've put in some other things here, but one of the things that I do is that um, I go to uh, a website uh, that you've probably heard of called ezinearticles.com. Sorry, I should have, you can't see the um, tip, it's ezinearticles.com. I don't think I can move this while I'm talking. Let me try Yes, I can. There you go. Um, ezinearticles.com. And you can see there that, now this used to be like in the days of before Google changed uh, the way they, they rank things. This used to be a site everybody would write for. He's on, I'm on here somewhere. I've written lots of articles, free sign articles. Uh, not for a very long time, but there, I'm on there somewhere. But you can see there are, it's still a fantastic library. So, for example, <clears throat> I'm in the self-improvement category quite often. I have uh, business there. So I might, I might go there and let's say, uh, let's say I, I want to, uh, I've got a product that I want to promote about, let's say, goal setting. So I'll click on that. All right now, you can reproduce these articles, if but don't copy them unless you, uh, uh, you know, keep in all the acknowledgements and links. That's the deal. But I'm not. I'm not here to do that. I'm just here for ideas about how can I talk about my goal setting program if I have one. So right now, I actually don't. This is just an example. And look at all these beautiful, juicy headlines. Negative thinking balances your decision. Would I open that if it was an email? Mm, nah, it's a bit jargony. I don't like that one. How to find your real innermost desire. Pleasure. Hmm. That might motivate me. Yes, I'd be interested in that. Um, I don't, I don't care about the article. I'm just using that as a title. I wouldn't even read the article. I might in some cases, but I'm not, it's like, if that, if I think I can write a little, you know, few 500 words three to 500 words with a title like that oh i just hit my elbow <laughs> okay um let's look at a few more what is a worthy goal anyway yeah maybe that might get some opens um six ways your true motive i missed that bit now six ways to tell whether your goal is really realistic it's a bit long f for a headline but i would probably go uh x so it doesn't have to be six could be three or five or whatever uh, three is quite nice to tell whether your goal is realistic that's quite handy that's quite good isn't it um mental hoarding will kill your goal achievement yeah i'd open that i, I probably would have to read that one to tr see what the author was was driving at because mental hoarding is not a concept that i i'd be aware of I'd, i kind of need to know what that means let's get rid of that story of a dreamer uh no, but anyway, you see, you see, uh, the point here. Ezinearticles.com. Just scroll through the articles and th the ones that, the ones that make you want to go, ooh, I want to read that, um, are the ones that you might, uh, you might hijack. <laughs> I, I'm not going to tell you to copy or plagiarize, um, and definitely don't do that from the article. Don't, don't even open the articles. Not necessary. Now, I promised you that I would show you, um, some really, really, you know, at least I think there's four, uh, other ways of getting your emails, not just open, but read and acted upon. So I just want to open up something here. I'm just going to move this, uh, screen back down slightly again. There we are. Now, this is from something called irresistible emails. And I just love this. So, uh, here is, uh, this is called the here's what I got email. Um, and you can use this when you've got an offer, uh, to, uh, to unveil an offer, right? Um, communicate the WIFM stands W I F I I F M. It's a marketing, uh, slang. If you haven't heard that before, what's in it for me, right? So there's a way of, of writing, uh, an email. Uh, and then su the seduction email, right? This is beautiful. Make them love you. 
Fantastic. Okay. Uh, the urgent email. Uber urgent email. Um, okay. It uses urgency and scarcity. How to use that. Uh, and uh, another one that's a, a kind of a chatty variety. Uh, here's what I got email. Um, on ver oh, is that what I did before? No. Um, maybe it is. Uh, maybe I've done that twice. Uh, and then a whole bunch of subject lines that you can uh, adapt and take um, that use different kinds of, of strategies. Now, all of these come from um, a lady called Amanda Craven, uh, who's come up with... Uh, there's more in there. There's, there's video training as well. Uh, this little program called Irresistible Emails, and you'll find a link below this video uh, where you can get the, all of those PDFs. There's more. There's something called the drum roll, uh, email. Um, I can't remember. There's five or six in there and some video training as well. Um, and if you go for the upsell, which I can tell you is a hundred percent worthwhile, um, then you will get a lot of done for you templates as well that you can just, you can use for any, or, almost any niche really. Now Amanda um, is a lovely lady, uh, she's British, she's um, like me, she's British, but um, she, I mean you can see she's, this is, uh, Amanda does this for a living, it's what she does, and you know, um, she, $354,129 and six cents there in revenue, um, and uh, I, I I know for, you know, she's absolutely genuine up front. So, as she's pointing out here, think email is dead, think again. It's still the best way to reach, engage, and get people buying. It is if you know what you're doing. So I heartily recommend you check out uh, Amanda's Irresistible Emails program. There'll be, there'll be a link below this uh, video. I hope that's been helpful. Um, do leave your comments. Do subscribe to my channel as well. Um, you know, there's a subscribe button there as well, and click the little uh, bell icon so you get notified when I upload more videos. But go check out Amanda's Irresistible Emails. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention. when you, If you buy Irresistible Emails through my link, I have given you, uh, you'll find a bonus in there, uh, where I've given you uh, hypnotic closes as well. I've given you video training about how to actually, when you get people... Uh, in the in the buying sequence, because obviously if you're marketing, that's what your emails are designed to open up. Um, how to write messages and and posts and Facebook and all of that emails to uh, that in, embed the i you know the idea that people would yeah I'd like to buy that. So you'll get that free from me. That's unique. Nobody else has got that because I made it. It's my training. Um, you won't get that anywhere else. Okay, so irresistible emails. Check it out. Hope that's been helpful. Get more emails opened. See you next time.